just Paul. Yeah. Um, you know, I watched uh, a show last night about women directors of entertainment. Yeah. And um, there seems to be some discrimination in the the media, not the media, but the entertainment industry, Sony Pictures or, or Paramount or Columbia Pictures or these big name shows that a lot of people like to go to and they like to see. Mm -hmm. And I found it interesting that a lot of these directors had felt that they were not considered equal in the quality of the availability of directing um, motion pictures that people would want to watch. Mm -hmm. In fact, one of them had made this movie about what she really thought was the, the lesbian ideology in the storyline of kind of a, a story that, that she thought needed to be made, right? And for some reason, a lot of population didn't want to watch it, and she got bad reviews for it. <laughs> then there was the whole Twilight thing, and then there was um, Fifty Shades of Grey, yes. And there was um, Selma and some of these other women-directed motion pictures where the, the male and pale, yes, was really not wanting to give them the money to make the motion pictures. <laughs> and I liked how they said male and pale, as in white men, yes, that have control of the finances of the entertainment industry, yes, discriminate against women because... <laughs> Well, they just don't want to give up the power. See, there's this whole idea of money. Yes. Now, let's say you had a billion dollars, right? And you had a hundred directors and you didn't care about their actual gender. Mm -hmm. They all had similar qualifications to be able to direct a movie. Mm -hmm. And of that hundred, you looked at the actual population. You said, well, here's a billion dollars and I can give you each uh, $10 million. Mm-hmm. And you make a hundred motion pictures, but you kind of give out the money based upon the actual demographics of the population. And we're kind of a 50-50 gender of male and female, right? <laughs> and then I would say there's approximately 6% that are lesbian and homosexual, right? And then there's what's known as the gay-friendly population. It might be closer to 20 to 30%. Then there's the other 70% that probably don't give it. They don't really care. Yes. Difficult as it is to believe, okay? <laughs> there's very few in the population that are not heterosexual and that goes from those that are the most erotic a very high libido yes to those that are celibate eunuchs they don't really have any sexuality at all <laughs> now my thought was when you look at making motion pictures as an investment if i did 10 percent a year yes i would double my money every seven years and um it would be very easy for me to influence the population because I don't have to have the big winner. In fact, sometimes having losers uh, actually does make you money. It's kind of a stupid idea. But people that watch a lot of TV or movies, they'll pretty much watch anything. Yes, because they might not be interested in that genre of film. Yes, but when they're sitting there doing nothing, they'll eventually look at it to see what it's about. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yes, yes. Now... I understand that the big budget films, they make the money, and usually there's these actors and actresses that have a list of directors that they will work with. And my thought was, well, we should have 10 times the amount of entertainment, and it removes a concentration of power that influences the perceptions of the population. Mm. Now, I thought I would ask three of them, one to volunteer to come to work each month, yes, <laughs> one to be an employee that comes to work each month, yes, and then one of them might give me a baby, a very attractive, <laughs> but I'm going to sue you, okay, <laughs> but how I spend that money is the direct result of my own decision making. Now, should I really care where the finances of entertainment are concentrated, as in, does it matter to me as an investor exactly who the actor or actress is uh -huh, or who the director is? Mm -hmm. See, I think a lot of it is advertising. Oh, let's say I gave you $10 million and I spent $10 million advertising. Yes. And I told the population it's a really good show and you should see it. Yes. 
a lot of times the advertising mm, mm, has a lot more effect on the actual revenue of what's being sold. Yes. And when you know what to market and how to market, yes, you can convince the whole nation to watch it. Now, why don't you get me the actual entertainment of the nation? Those that are, well, up there in the movie business. Yes. Now, I've known a few, Adelson or Summer Redstone. or <laughs> There's a few directors that have been well-known. Steven Spielberg or Ron Howard. Yes. And then give me all those female directors because I didn't really embrace how you're affecting the sexuality of the population. Mm. Now, as a man, yes, I like to see more naked women. <laughs> it's something that happens when you're heterosexual. Yes, yes. I'm attracted to the opposite sex. <laughs> and uh, for those that are same sex... <laughs> You could be attracted to the same sex that I'm attracted to. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> now, I know, okay, <laughs> that leaves the gay men that I'm not attracted to naked men, but I realize there are those that are <laughs> naked sometimes. Approximately <laughs> 50% of the population sometimes. <laughs> but I'm wanting to know exactly the effect mm -hmm. of how it is mm, that so much power gets concentrated in so few hands so as to control the actual ideology of the whole nation. Now, are we looking at entertainment as an investment, or is it that you're going to spend $100 million making a big budget film? Yes. And to recoup your actual investment, you got to get $100 million. And to double your money in one year, you've got to get $200 million. Oh. See, I think the population is somewhat surprising. The Twilight, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have thought it was that good. In fact, I never watched it myself because I was just not interested in Dracula's. Yes, 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 yes. And this quirky little lesbian film that got the Rotten Tomatoes, <laughs> I actually found the director attractive. Oh, what if you made a film for 94% of the population instead of the 6%? <laughs> you know, a lot of these that direct, yes, they have their idea of the story that they're going to pitch mm -hmm. to the producers. Yes, those that are going to give them the money. But what if I just gave you the money? <laughs> And I said, now, I'd like to get 10% of my money each year. So if you spend uh, 20 to $40 million on a film, yes, I expect 10% return each year. <laughs> and some will be losers because not every investment is a winner. Is that right? <laughs> and I might get a few winners that double my money in a year or two. Oh, oh. see. Oh. We have too much power. In too few hands. Excuse me, Sheriff. Yeah. Your lesbian women's movement is not important to me. Yeah. You're getting sued.